We do a lot of work with creative industry and we need role models for our students and so this was just one of our many projects that we do looking for inspirational people to come and talk to our students. The way this project is working is that we're involving lots of students from different courses mm -hmm. so it's just an opportunity for them to work on a live event but with somebody who hopefully will be telling them some really interesting stuff as well. The brief was very exciting and very very interesting. It came from the marketing department here and basically we wanted to give um, an aura mm -hmm. of something special that was coming to London College of Communication. Well at first it was very overwhelming and more so because the fact that my family was also going to be on camera and they never really even know how I end up on TV. Like my mom's like, Julie, you're so pretty. You can be on TV. She thinks, <laughs> literally, she thinks that that's all it takes. And I'm like, no lady, that's not how it works. You actually have to work for this. Hi, I'm Emma Louise here with DelveMagazine.tv, here with the fabulous mm -hmm. Jaleesa. Hello, Hello, my darling. Hi. Hi, so how was it? How was Enter LCC? How did you find the interview? How did you find the crowd? I think it was a success. Um, the crowd was awesome. They were really, you can just tell, open to receiving the information. They asked such great questions. Um, I mean, I literally had so much to say, like I was prepping it in my mind and then when you get there, you forget everything and then you just yeah. want to be present and in the moment. So I, I, I tried to be that and I think it was great. Because Julissa is from LCC and she's a star, I think it's the, the mixture of the aura of the star coming to LCC and also mm -hmm. LCC is such an urban place that uh, the students, the big main theme is of something very glamorous, uh, very successful and ambition. What, what we're all about meets the cutting edge urban space and mm -hmm. the urban thinking of our college. Mm -hmm. um, we consider ourselves to be a city of young people, we're like a city within a city. Ooh, cold! That is... I came up with it. I mean, Jalisa there was, is, was amazing. She was very inspirational. Coming from a, a female's perspective of how the industry is and, you know, just life itself, you know, growing up where she came from, um, which is, you know, Queens and that, you know, she's, she's still on the grind, she's on a hustle, you know, she's trying to make something of herself. She's, you know, she's made something of herself already, but she wants to be more. It must be, it must have a certain level of annoyance to think that you work incredibly hard to get to where you've gotten to and then someone else can just pop up one morning and leak a sex tape themselves or a 10 second clip or something and all of a sudden they're achieving the things that you've worked really hard to achieve. There's got to be a certain level of annoyance that's got to come into uh, that. It's more frustration for sure. Yes, there's annoyance in that. But again, you think about, okay, well, how long is that going to last? temporary like what is your legacy is it to be that is it to leave behind where you're saying okay yeah I was famous for that and blah 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 you know that's how I got on or is it no I was I, I achieved the fame and success because I put in the hard work blood blood sweat and tears gave me I'm at today not because I laid on my back for it on any couch or on a tv screen you know moaning and groaning or whatever. <laughs> but, you know, again, that's another thing that you sort of struggle with um, in this business because that's where the frustration lies. You know, you're like, wow, I work so hard. And then, but I don't knock anybody's hustle by any means. Like, listen, do you. If that works for you, different strokes for different folks, right? So you just have to figure out how you can still make an impact in a world that is continuing to go that route. I mean, the students just seemed really into it, kind of, you know, the different facets of what you do in your career. Having your own show, that's amazing. Are you thinking of here or in the States or? I would love it all. 
worldwide would be amazing. That's definitely the goal. Um, I love London, so being here would be a great opportunity. Also, um, in the States, I mean, anywhere where I can really continue the message and um, do what I love. So if it requires to go to the moon, I will do it. Again, thank you for coming to London. Thank, thank you, you for, for having LCC. me. You're welcome. Mwah. Lovely. It's so weird because we're actually like homegirls at this point. <laughs> so the fact that you're even interviewing me is like, what? Fantastic. Love her. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So that's Emma Louise for DelphMagazine.tv. Thank you. Bye.